Hey, welcome back guys, how you doing? You know, I've been doing this channel now for how many years? Six years, almost six years. And in my time of doing this channel, I have really realized uh, one important thing when it comes to televisions. And that's that, guys, you're never going to be able to compete with the greatest and the latest and the best. The reason I'm saying this, it's because that's just not simply possible because you're never going to have that latest and the greatest technology. There's always going to be something better coming out than what you already have. And if you're simply buying television, hoping that you can compete to the latest and greatest, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Throughout these years, I gave you guys plenty of tips in my video and I still I still give you all the tips that I think are the best tips on how to buy a TV. But you got to be honest with yourself, guys. There's a variety of different panels out there. There's a variety of different brands out there. And they all use different technologies to achieve that fidelity of picture quality. But you have to collect that data, collect that research, and you have to be honest with yourself where you have to ask yourself, hey, man, honestly, what is it that I'm looking for? In a TV what is the something that's gonna speak to me uniquely on this television maybe OLED it's that television maybe QLED it's that television okay maybe LCD LED backlit with full array of local dimming it's that TV for you there's many different types of TVs out there, many different types of technologies. Some TVs, they use more of the local dimming zones. Some TVs are using quantum dots. Some brands are using different types of uh, technology to achieve that fidelity in color and contrast ratio. But at the end of the day, guys, you have to remember, you have to decide for yourself what is the TV that's good for me. I cannot tell you what's great for you because I don't understand your taste. I don't know your taste. Uh, and and I, I don't live in your head, so I don't know what appeals to you. Okay? How important is that HDR for you? You know, have you ever tried the HDR? You know, is that HDR plays a huge role to you is that Dolby Vision plays a huge role to you are you looking for a bigger TV are you looking for something not necessarily bigger maybe something medium size all of these questions it's something you gotta ask yourself because in course of six years I've been getting so many questions and no matter what answer I give it's never good enough people would come to me and say hey man I'm not happy with that Samsung Q8FN Hey, man, I'm not happy with that KS8000. Hey, man, I'm not happy with that OLED. Well, maybe you're never going to be happy because you, you are constantly contemplating and you, you think that you're going to be able to find that Mecca. You think this year if you buy an 8K TV that you're all set. You think if you purchase a HDMI 2.1 uh, television chipset that you are all set. See, this is the mindset that's always going to conflict you in your head because you're thinking that if I buy this certain TV that I'm all set. Listen, when it comes to technology, you're never set. Whether it's the graphics card, whether it's the television, whether it's the laptops, whether it's the virtual reality headset, whether it's the new car, you're never going to have the greatest and the latest, okay? You're never going to be able to keep up. You need to find something that is unique for you. And you got to be honest with yourself. But what that is, I don't know what that is. Only you know what that is. Okay? So, be honest with yourself. Ask yourself that question. How important is that HDR to you? How important is that Dolby Vision? How important is the local dimming? How important is that conscious ratio on the OLED, the pitch black digital levels? How important are they playing a key role for you? You got to be honest with yourself. But I cannot answer that for you. 
How important is that quantum dot color for you? How important is that peak brightness? How important is that low latency? How important is that 120 hertz variable refresh rate? How important is that 1440p option? And how important is that color accuracy? DCI-P3, how important is that for you? All of these questions, this is something only you can answer for yourself, okay? Because I cannot tell you and, and say, this is what you need to buy, this is what you have to do. I'm not here to do that, okay? I'm not here to sell you televisions, guys. Remember that I'm only here to give you my opinions, my unbiased views on all of these televisions that I have. The pitch black, dark, black, deepest levels. How important is that for you on the OLED? Here's the one great example in this uh, video right here. How important is that for you? Again, maybe it's not that important for you, but I don't know that. How am I supposed to know how important is this for you? Maybe you don't care about that contrast ratio. Maybe you care about the higher peak brightness so the colors will pop with all that peak brightness. Maybe you care about that. See, everyone has their own taste when it comes to everything. And the same applies for the televisions, okay? So how important is this for you on the OLED and these kind of viewing angles? That only you can answer for yourself. To me, it's important because it gives the best picture quality. The contrast ratio with the colors gives the best picture quality. And isn't that what we're looking for? And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like this. But that's my taste. Remember, that's my taste. Maybe your taste is different, which I'm pretty sure it will be different. So, all of these questions, guys, Remember, the reason I'm making this video because I want you to know that it, this is why it's difficult for me to recommend something to people. And this is why I refuse to recommend the TV to people because I don't want to be responsible for you buying something and then coming to me and telling me, hey, dude, you recommended this. Uh, I don't like it. My preference right now currently, it's the OLED. And it's the OLED because of couple of reasons the highest contrast ratio giving the purest deepest deep dark levels and of course the viewing angles but is this the greatest tv ever made no it's not the greatest tv ever made there's no such a thing as the greatest tv ever made so i want you to take something away from this video i want you to take one important message and that one important message is uh be honest with yourself, guys. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself as to what you want. And you really got to be honest within yourself. Hey, man, what type of TV do I want? What is it that I'm looking for? Buy it because you want to buy it, because you care about it, because that's something that appeals to you. If this appeals to you, if the OLED appeals to you, and you truly love it, then go with it. I didn't buy an OLED to try to fit in with the OLED community. I didn't do it for that. I bought it because I want to watch movies on it. And I have the QLED because of the gaming. I have my reasons. But you shouldn't be following my reasons. You need to follow your reasons. What are your reasons for purchasing a TV? And only you can know that. I can't answer that for you. Okay? So I hope that this 10-minute video in 4K gives you the explanations as to why you need to be honest with yourself and find the TV that it's right for you. But only you can do that. I cannot do it for you guys. All right? So I hope that you take the message from this video that you need to be honest with yourself. Do your research. There's plenty of time for you to do your research. Watch my videos. Watch others. And then, by the end of the day, you make that decision, what's right for you and your pocket. Thank you, guys. Have a good one, though. I'll see you later.